Hello, you guys. My name is Shanira, and I'm coming to you, to you today for a quick tutorial. This is my very first wig. I tried to make a wig before, did good with the basics, with the dome cap and all of that, but I never tried to style it or anything. I just threw it somewhere, and now I can't find it. But... I did a wig the other day, my very first wig with hair that I used in March for my birthday. I had it sold in with a partial and then I took it out and I turned around and had a quick weave two months ago with this hair. And um, the other day I uh, did a wig with this same hair. I bleached it and I call myself bleaching the knot of the um lace of uh, not a lace frontal a uh, lace closure um so it's a lace closure at the front and the rest of it is uh glued in with a dome cap on on a dome cap which it turned out like this And I think I did pretty good. Um, you guys let me know what you think. The, the longest length is 18. So it's 18, 16, I think 12 or something. And so it's grade 7 hair. Seven plus plus grade that's on the pack, and the hair is body wave and it's BB expressions 100% Brazilian virgin hair and it's body wave. So, again, I use this hair twice, one sold in. One glued in. I'm going to use my brush to brush it really quick. Nice when you brush it. Goes right through. I think I did really good for my first time. And again, I bleached it myself. It was a number two. And I bleached it this blondish brown color. And it's pretty. I like it. So, I want to do a elastic band so it can fit on my head and it, again it's not the black it's white elastic band whatever you prefer use it but I'm gonna try a white one and this is my first time doing a wig and all of this so bear with me so I'm gonna measure it right here a little behind my ear but enough so it can be like a little behind here and I'm going to bring the measuring tape around to this side same length and then I don't know if you guys can see it then I'm going to pull Keep it right here and then pull around back to right here. Place my thumb there and then I'm going to cut. I almost forgot where my scissors was. A little struggle. Ugh. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm going to put it right here again and then pull. This is about right. I'm going to take my wig off my mannequin. This is how the inside look. And I'm going to sew. This band onto my cap. It's going to be like back here. Now again, this is my first time, so hopefully this turns out right. I already have my needle and thread together. And I'm going to sew it. And hopefully, let's see. Go ahead with that. So you guys, I hope this turned out right. Just wanted to try it. I mean, I watched so many tutorials on it. So I was like, oh, I think I got this. But just because you watch something, that don't mean you got it. So doesn't hurt to try. And I'm very big on, after I don't watch something for so many times, I try it myself. So, I'm going to do it again. At the end, I'm going to wrap this around. Basically, it's just like you sewing on doing a sewing in your head and you're going to wrap that piece around maybe like two times three I'm going to do three and then I'm going to pull out you want to make a knot and I'm going to cut I done tangled the thread up. Okay. Then you're going to tie it down. One tie. Second tie. And I'm going to cut the excess thread. Okay, that's firm. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. And I already have the needle, another needle prepared.
for some reason I hate the long needles I don't know why the curve is more more usable to me I, I don't know why if the curved ones work better than the straight ones I mean most people use these straight ones it's just when it's time to pull them through like they wreck my nerves. I wonder how many people these straight ones do that to. Well, how many people feel the way I feel about these things? Lord. Again, I did three loops around the needle and I'm pulling it through and I'm going to cut the excess thread and then I'm going to get it and I'm going to tie it. Bear with me. First time for everything. Maybe I'll move a little quicker if I just keep practicing. Okay, and there it is, my elastic. We're gonna flip the hair back over. And I'm going to use my brush again. And you guys, I did wash the hair before I did the wig. And here's my band. And I did wash the hair before I did the wig. And after I did the wig. You see that lace? On my skin. But. Okay. Bear with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm pulling the strap down, and it the strap supposed to the la the uh, elastic band supposed to give it a tight pull to make your um closure or your frontal lie down better. That's why a lot of people do it. And again, I did bleach the frontal. I wanted to make it look realistic as possible. And then I'm going to get the brush and brush. And yesterday, I wand curled this hair. 
just to see how long the curls would stay. I put like a holding spray on there. Okay. And this is how it looks. The curls fell out from yesterday, so. This is how my first time wig look. With the knots bleached and everything. But the color, I bleached it because it wasn't this color. I bleached it to my own liking. Because again, I did this wig so it can last longer, the hair. And March of this year is when I got this hair. I love it. It's 100% Brazilian virgin hair. Okay. And I'm not going to do much. With styling it, I don't want to hold you guys up. But I do have my one curlers that my husband got me a while ago. I mean, I used it several times and it burned the crap out of me. It's supposed to be gloves for it. And I don't know where I put them gloves at when I first used them, which would be a long time ago. I have a clip and I'm just pinning it up in my head. And um detangling. Then I'm gonna get my wand curlers. And I'm going to grab the hair that I detangled and put the hair around. Now, mind you guys, please excuse me, but I have burnt myself with these. They get super hot. So I got to be careful. Hold it for a minute. And let go. And that's a curl. And I'll be back with the finish. Okay, everybody. I'm back from curling my hair. Again, I curled my hair with my curling wand. And it goes up to max. Which would be maybe 400 um, or so. But it gets really, really hot. This thing will burn you. It come came with gloves and a clip. So when you uh, curl your hair, it can get out the way or whatever. But I lost the clips and the gloves. So I won't burn myself. One time, y'all... I used these and like I was curling close to my face and I was looking in the mirror and I thought I was coming out but I went in and I was just like there like that like close like on my skin close and then next thing you know I just felt like real bad heat and I moved it and 
uh, I think it, the scars don't went away, but I moved it and it was black, like it was bad. And it took like a long time, like a year to heal, probably longer than that. I just never paid attention anymore because I got used to it. So I used that uh, curling wand and as I was going, I start pinning them up with my pen and moving the other hair with my clip. And these are the curls I got. So. Now, I'm going to use my brush. Well, maybe my comb. These combs work miracles. If you don't have one, get you one. So, and I'm gonna comb my hair. Well, basically, kind of like raking it out. Now I'm putting my fingers through. This is that side, and now this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Kind of a curve try to make it curved a little bit now bring it high up with the curl on fix my Strip. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to get my flat irons. And do the top of it. And these get at like, let's see, it says 30. These also get hot. Y'all trust me, I just use this stuff. I'm not an expert or anything. And these got a shortage in it, but I had these for like five years. And got a shortage in it or something. And I'm going to put the flat irons up top of my head. Try to get it away from my face.
I'm bring it up a little bit more. About like that. So, I'm going to break my hair out a little bit more, and then I'll be back. But these are the curls. The curls, the curls, the curls, the curls. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and this is the finishing curls. Um... Again, this is my first time doing a wig. Uh, I learned a lot, so next time my wig will be better. I did have a closure. Um, it was 12 uh, inches, the closure. I did bleach the knots. Uh, first time doing that also. Um, again, this is a 18, 16, and I believe a 12 uh, in Brazilian uh virgin hair um the name of that hair is b and b fresh uh natural black um it's a seven grade body wave um hair um i had a dome cap and i did not sew on anything i glued everything on the closure, uh, the hair onto the cap and everything. Um, just first time doing a wig. Uh, I wanted to try the glue in method first. Um, learned a lot from it. Next time I will do the sewing. Uh, maybe like for the closure or the lace frontal or whatever I will sew in but the other part I will glue I did wash this hair after doing the wig I washed the hair um I bleached the hair because it was a number two well a natural black in the sun it looked kind of brown um like a lot of people with uh black hair be when you get in the sun it's like a brown color it was just like that but I bleached um, parts of the hair just for a little color. You might can't feel it. But I did bleach it. Um, I mean, I like how it turned out. Uh, next time I will uh, do better. I put a elastic band in the inside to make it fit even more so basically it won't come out uh, I did one curl and then I went in like raked it out I went and raked it out um this how it looked after being tossed around a little bit, I wanted y'all to see that it wouldn't come out. And yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if you guys like it, but I like it. And the Brazilian hair, I like also. Again. And I don't have on a cap underneath my wig for the lace. I don't have a cap on.